What made the wharf, I think, at one time is, is these old-time restaurants. Alieros has been here since 1925. Okay. The same location. The, the, the old flair of Fisherman's Wharf, the wharf, the boats, the fishing, the industry. The new stuff that you see, you know, between t-shirt shops and different places around. Justin, what brings people to Fisherman's Wharf besides the crab? And the fish? What would it be? The museums? The, the Bodines? The bread company? Um, I think that's it. The mu yeah, and the museums. Like we open up first, a lot of crab boats come down from like up north, Oregon. They come down for a couple weeks, make a few bucks, and they go back home. Most of these, I think, are like from like Eureka, Crescent City, Northern California coast. They come in off Pier 45. Yeah, Pier 45 is where that, that's where all the processes are. Boiling water, just add a little rock salt. What's the average size of? The uh, I start about a pound, pound and a quarter, up to about two pounds. Anything over two pounds is decent. Everything's at least a pound usually. All males, no females. Females are illegal. We just came down to check out Fisherman's Wharf and the crab looked good, so we stopped and ate. Justin, what brings people to Fisherman's Wharf besides the crab and the fish?